Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to show you how to assemble and disassemble an Olympus BX40 microscope. So, as usual, there's a three millimeter Allen wrench built into the top here, and uh, there's an Allen hole right underneath the head. So, we're going to take that one off. Head, your eyepieces are in the head. So, then we're going to lower the focus. And there's gonna be several objectives on here typically. This one, we just have one for an example. So screw that off, put that on the table there. And then you have a stage. The stage, there's a knurled screw in the front. Just loosen that off and remove it. You don't wanna put pressure on the uh, coax, so usually put that down, uh, the stage top down. And then we'll raise the focus mechanism back up. Use the same Allen wrench to loosen this bracket here, your sub-stage bracket, and that slides right off, okay? All right, now the microscope's is disassembled and it's ready to be packed and shipped. You would wrap these items, you would put the objective in a bag, the eyepiece in a bag, and uh, wrap everything in bubble and make it real nice. Um, the difference between the BX41 and the BX40 that we get asked about a lot is the nose piece. On the BX40, most models, this nose piece will not come off. They do make a few that have a dovetail flange that you can slide the nose piece in and out, but this particular one doesn't have that. That's an add-on product. Um, it's very rare that, to see those. So uh, that's the main question we get asked, and that's the main difference between this stand and a BX41 as far as the assembly and disassembly of the system. So we'll put it back together really quick, and um, if you have any questions, you can drop us an email or send us a message. So we're going to take the sub-stage carrier. We're going to slide that right there onto that dovetail. Make sure it's all the way down. And then we're going to tighten this screw up. It shouldn't slide whenever you wiggle it. Then you're going to take the stage, lower the focus down. Set it on there and tighten that thumb screw. Once the thumb, th thumb screw, once the thumb screw is tightened, um, make sure it doesn't wiggle and that it's even. Then you take the head. The head's going to go on this flange here. Make sure it's nice and flush and tighten that last screw. Okay. Um, if your eyepieces were out. You would want to put those in there. And then the last thing is lower your stage and screw your objectives on one at a time. Um, another common thing with these scopes, uh, while we're right here talking about it, are the lamp houses. Um, sometimes you'll receive these scopes and the lamp house will not be on. Um, it's really easy. You can change the bulb this way. You can... Um, the lamp sockets will go bad sometimes and they'll have to be changed. They slide in with a pin connector. It's really simple to work on these scopes. It's an excellent microscope. And if you have any questions, just uh, drop us a line and we'll be glad to help you.